Welcome, my friends, to The Haunted Grove. I'm Megan, and you are about to watch five haunted places in Oklahoma that you've probably never heard of. The Purple Church is located in Spencer, Oklahoma, and the name is a little misleading because it is neither purple nor a church. It's actually a concrete foundation with steps that lead down into a cellar-type room, and it's the only remnants of the previous structure which is said to have been burned to the ground. It's called the Purple Church because it's been spray-painted with purple pentagrams and other various types of symbols. It's out in the middle of nowhere in the woods, and it's just this giant concrete pole in the ground. But that concrete foundation is said to be one of the most haunted places in all of Oklahoma. It's known as the gateway to hell, and those steps are said to lead to a very terrifying place. The stories say that the previous structure that was on the foundation was some kind of church or building that was a place for people to come and practice dark arts. It's also said they performed rituals as well as animal sacrifices. According to the story, the local townsfolk figured out what was going down at this church, and they snuck out there in the middle of the night and burned it to the ground to prevent any further activity from happening. However, according to paranormal investigators and people who visit the site, the damage had already been done. There are numerous claims of paranormal activity in and around the site, including hearing noises, seeing shadow figures, and even being chased by some demon-looking creatures. People have even reported being physically harmed there, like being pushed or scratched. And the story says that if you're brave enough to descend those steps into that dark room, once you've stepped over the many piles of animal bones, you're gonna be met by a demonic presence that does not appreciate visitors. I think it is important to note at this point that the Purple Church is located on private property, and uh, I did read that the owner of the land uh, doesn't really look forward to people coming out and visiting. So maybe don't go there without permission. Beaver Dunes Park is located in Oklahoma's Panhandle. The park is 300 acres of sand dunes, and it's really popular with ATV riders, hikers, and even people who wanna go camping. And while the park is mainly known for its natural beauty and outdoor recreational activities, it has become associated with something much darker over the years. Like many places we talk about, Beaver Dunes has its share of stories of tragic events and historical incidents that has led to its reputation. While the specific stories vary, a lot of locals believe that the area's past, along with the Native American history and the pioneer settlement, may have left spiritual or residual energy. And one infamous story dates all the way back to the 1500s, when Spanish explorer Francisco Vasquez de Coronado and an army of his men embarked on a journey north of Mexico to find the fabled Seven Cities of Gold. It's said that while they were making their way through what we now know as the Oklahoma Panhandle, Coronado was warned by a local Native American tribe to stay out of the dunes as they had been avoiding the area for centuries due to its supernatural occurrences. As you've probably guessed, Coronado did in fact not listen to the Native American guides and they went through the dunes anyway, resulting in the loss of three of his men to what he described as flashes of light from green lightning bolts. According to the legend, Coronado wrote in his journal that they searched the entire area for the three men and they never found a trace of them. Over time, the urban legends and folklore surrounding Beaver Dunes Park has really led to its reputation for a lot of paranormal activity. People who visit the park claim to see ghostly apparitions moving amongst the dunes, especially at night. There have even been reports of unexplained sounds emanating from the dunes and from the surrounding area. Visitors have also described hearing eerie noises such as faint whispers, footsteps, or voices when there's no one else around. There are also reports of people seeing these strange lights off in the distance that will glow really bright and then dim and fade away. Some say these lights are paranormal. Others think they might be unidentified flying objects or UFOs. Between the stories of mysterious disappearances, sightings of ghostly apparitions, and potential UFO activity, it's no wonder Beaver Dunes Park is also known as Oklahoma's Bermuda Triangle. Blanchard Cemetery was established in 1917, just north of the small town of Blanchard, Oklahoma. The cemetery itself is fairly large. It's roughly about 20 acres and holds about 5,000 graves. And it just has that old, classic, rural cemetery look and feel. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. It has a ton of old gravestones. There's big, giant oak trees surrounding it. And there's a giant arch over the entrance. In fact, Blanchard Cemetery is pretty unremarkable, apart from it just being a cool-looking cemetery, until you go there at night. That's when people claim you'll hear strange, unexplained noises throughout the entire cemetery. People have reported hearing these noises and then seeing a dim light off in the distance. And as you go to investigate, you'll make your way over to the second part of the cemetery. And it's there where you're probably gonna see a ghost. The ghost that haunts the cemetery is said to stroll around that second section, but don't be scared. You don't have anything to worry about. People who have seen the ghost describe him as a tall, older man wearing a trench coat and a top hat and he's very friendly, always smiling and waving at the cemetery's new guests. 
The Parallel Forest is located in Lawton, Oklahoma, and it is a pretty unique piece of land. It's a man-made forest and sits on 16 acres. It has over 20,000 red cedar trees that were planted exactly six feet apart from each other in every direction. Because of how close the trees were actually planted together, it caused them to grow straight up and not grow any branches on the lower half of the trunk. It also caused the branches that did grow on the top part of the tree to create this super dense canopy that blocks out the sun. And it gives the place a really creepy dark vibe. It's also said that cell phones and GPS don't work in the area and it's very easy to get lost in the forest because once you're in there, no matter which direction you look in, all you see is rows and rows of trees and everything looks the same. So the forest itself just has this natural creepy feeling to it, but when you pair it with the mystery of how it came to be in the first place, it really adds to the weirdness. It was planted by the government and there's actually a couple different theories as to why this was done. The first one is that it was intended to be a cedar plantation. So they were gonna grow the trees in order to cut them down and use the wood for future parks. Uh, the problem is they never came back and harvested the trees. The second and significantly more popular theory is that the government planted these trees to counter the effects of the Dust Bowl in the 1930s. But some of the questions that remain with this theory is why? Why was it only in this spot and why were the trees planted six feet apart exactly from each other? Whatever the intended reason was for this park, the way the trees were planted and the mystery behind how they got there has spurred numerous rumors of this place being haunted by either ghosts or maybe something that the government was trying to keep hidden. Visitors to the forest have reported hearing strange noises and they just can't quite place what it is, seeing orbs or balls of light off in the distance, hearing the beating of drums, and some have even reported seeing a headless figure lurking off in the distance. And if that wasn't enough, there's some weird, strange, man-made rock formation right smack dab in the middle. And a lot of people claim that it's some type of altar used for rituals. The Parallel Forest is open to the public and there are trails you can follow to get through it. Just make sure you download your map first because your phone's not gonna help you once you're inside. Fort Washita is located in Durant, Oklahoma. It was constructed in 1842 and was the most southwestern post for the United States military. The purpose of the fort was to protect and maintain peace for the Chickasha and Choctaw people and their land from a lot of outsiders who wanted it. The post operated from 1842 until the start of the Civil War in 1861. It was then occupied by the Confederate Army and used as a hospital and a supply station. And by the time the Confederates left, the fort had basically been destroyed. After the war ended, the fort changed ownership a few times before it was eventually acquired by the Oklahoma Historical Society in 1962, which then partnered with the Chickasha Nation to restore it. The Chickasha Nation purchased the fort back in 2017 and it is now open to the public to visit. And visitors to the fort have claimed to experience a multitude of different types of paranormal activity, like the feeling of being strangled and reports of seeing apparitions from the people who were buried in the Confederate cemetery that is on the ground. Today, the fort is said to be haunted by several spirits, but most notably the spirit of Aunt Jane. What actually happened to Aunt Jane is a little unclear, but some of the stories say that she was killed in the mid 1800s when a group of thieves tried to steal gold from her. She either resisted or didn't have the gold on her, so the thieves killed her, chopped off her head, and then buried her somewhere on the grounds. To this day, many visitors to the fort have claimed to see her headless spirit roaming the grounds of Fort Washita. Thank you for watching. This was five haunted places in Oklahoma that you've probably never heard of. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more haunted locations.